It finally happened. We got both of them out. And um, are we gonna regret this? <laughs> We're back. We are down in Wayne National Forest at one of our favorite spots, Lake Vesuvius. And today's trip is a unique one. We're doing something we've never done, and that is bringing both of our wives with us. So hopefully it's fun. Uh, hopefully they have a good time. So yeah. Are you loving backpacking so far? Loving it. Are you not asking me? I wasn't asking you. Okay. See, we're a third of a mile in. A little fun fact about Lake Vesuvius is it's like two miles away from uh, where the Mothman presented itself. Oh. And all those people died at Point Pleasant. So, so uh, most at work we, we talk about uh, most credible threats. Uh, most credible threat here is Mothman, Omen. No, second is probably a squirrel eating your food bag. <laughs> realistically. A rabbit, a rabbit squirrel? Ra realistically, it's either getting charged by a deer or a squirrel or raccoon eating your food bag or coyote, a, a, a wild pack of coyotes attacking you. No, behind, that sounds behind pretty Mothman, serious. it's humans. So Probably in front of Mothman, it's humans. No, 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 Mothman. Mothman's you, first? You yeah, 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 that, yeah. <laughs> conventional weapons won't work against the Mothman. Uh, if you uh, take a look at Allie's pack, it would appear that she's going on a seven-day trek through the mountains. But in fact, she will be gone for one night with a, probably a solid 30 pounds, probably. She's, she is packing three liters, which is somewhat helpful. But you've got some vanity items in there. We're not near water, though, so you got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, there's an issue with uh, water, water supply here. So good thing you got three liters. It's okay, Ellie. You told me not to bring my nail file, and I did. <laughs> you brought a nail file? Yeah. I mean, if I break a nail, it's not going to be comfortable. That's true. You having a good time? Great. Great. You having a good time? Yeah. Look at that smile. I'm How, loving it. She's loving it. She's already putting together her first backpacking kit in her head right now. Got it. Yeah. This is a pretty good place to come for the first time. Kinda. Is this the one where you get your feet wet? No. Oh. This is the prelude. Live to win. Nice. See if Andy can see. If, yeah, he did what I did. Yeah. All right. Now this is this is part's gonna be buggy. I bet. Yeah. Yes. Water level's a little high. A little higher than last time. You gotta wade through that. She's excited about it. No, Allie claims. <laughs> Claims there's a oh yeah that's not that's not too bad. Andy, do you want to fill up our water here? Um, I think I think we should go a little farther. This is I mean this is it. Is it? Yeah. Let's go to that bank there right there and do it. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I heard people with horses. Nice. Easy. Live to win. Nice. First river crossing. First river crossing. Awesome. Watch Andy just bite it in there. <laughs> I've been known to take this. Before. I give you this opportunity to clean up my clothes. There you go. The bright side right there. And we're gonna uh 
fill up on water right now. So we're about a little less than two miles away. Yeah, right here looks good. Yeah. Do I even have to drink that water? Yes, you do have to drink the water. Yes, it tastes good though, it's filtered. Uh -huh. Suvius is a lot different in the summer. There's lily pads everywhere. Almost there, I think. Yeah, probably like another mile. Less than that. We're at 4.40 four miles. Oh. But it's starting a little bit. We're at just over five. Oh. Jeez, but it's a little bit more overgrown than it was last time we were here. You get to set your hammocks up back there. Sure. Where else do you want to go? Yeah. Right. It's fine. See this little, see this little trail? And that little trail? It's a lot more overgrown. We made it. It's a little bit more overgrown than last time. Yeah. It's not bad though. Proud hammock husband. She set this up all by herself. Which never happens, ever. Not even a single question. And that's a new under, that she's never used that under quilt before. Although you, you're not done yet. Did I do it right? What do you mean? Um, does your, is your head going here? My head's going here. Then you gotta what do you mean? flip the underquilt around. Oh, there's a back There's a head end. See that the logo on the underquilt oh, indicates okay. the head end. Okay. Just put your head there. Well, I think then I'd have to... Oh. Your, your head would just be there. Your head, you want your head here or your head there? It was gonna be... No, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be there. Shh. I know this. Now I want my head there. Okay, gonna, then you gotta flip it. this around. See this logo right here? Yeah. That's where your head is. Okay. I don't know if it matters, to be honest with you. On my underquilt, it certainly does. No, on my new one. Oh, that burnt orange you can see from just miles away. Andy's got a nice hang. I mean, it's, uh, he's on trees that are probably a solid. 22, 23 feet apart, so it's kind of wonky, but I got a nice hang here, man, with a great, I set it up so I got a great view of the lake out in the morning, beautiful. Andy's going no underquilt because he generously gave it to his wife, but he's got a pad, so. That ought to be awesome. <laughs> He's never, have you, have you done the pad before? I've done a pad on a double layer blackbird actually. And it was, it was okay, but the underquilt. Are you going to have to, are you going to have to do a double dose of Z-Quil? Oh, there's going to be like, I'm just, yeah, there's going to be some sleep meds involved tonight. You, you look like you're ready to go to sleep. Oh, I am. Are you? Allie's still dicking around. <laughs> are you? I've been set up forever now. Looks pretty good with that. Just needs a, a tarp. It just needs a tarp. So we got Allie a new tarp slash I got a winter tarp, but I got her winter, a tarp that I could use in the winter. So it's a uh, underground quilts winter dream tarp. It's really nice, but we're too lazy to set it up. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna have to wait till next time. And there's a zero percent chance of rain, so we're not too concerned. All right, what were your favorite parts of the day? Getting here. <laughs> this sitting. <laughs> uh, don't you feel so blessed you get to join your husbands and their hobbies? Hashtag blessed. So blessed. Could be sitting on the couch, cuddling up with the kitties. We didn't like I ask know. you to come. No. <laughs> <laughs> Watching TV, <laughs> laying in a bed. This is great. For your first time backpacking, this is pretty good. Yeah, good weather. I I expected it to be extremely flat. <laughs> so yeah. it was not flat, but, flat. 
but it was but pretty, it's pretty flat, flat. In terms of <laughs> as, as far as backpacking goes. It, it, it only gets <laughs> like this is the easy stuff. This is the flattest you'll ever do backpacking. Yeah, good thing we didn't do anything harder than this, because I, I mean it was definitely a really good workout. I just I need to be more in shape. Not flat is like when you're just going up, like yeah. just continually up for like. 20, 30 straight minutes or however long. That's like a dolly saw that there are a couple climbs like that. Where you're just going up for like a half mile we're, or a mile. We're gonna, do the, we're gonna do the first section of Laurel Highlands. She's done the first section of Laurel Highlands. It wasn't was that, that bad. That what we yeah. did that. That was that was steep. Where was that? Pennsylvania. Oh, there yeah. was a couple hills where I was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's how I you just look today. You just look and like <laughs> for as far as you can see. Highland. Everything on that fire. <laughs> That's how I felt today. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> we also have a new cooking setup we're going to test out tonight. Why are we carrying our filthy canister stove? As you all know, we're going to Isle Royale, so we're experimenting with a way to cook fish. And we can't have fires there, so we have to get a little creative. So we got this. MSR Alpine plate that weighs four ounces and we're going to attempt to cook fish and some chicken on this setup right here to simulate what it would be like an Isle Royale. So Andy's got some... This is lemon pepper, olive oil, tin foil. So we're going to see what happens. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we generally don't use canister stoves, but that, that, that should be pretty good on a low heat setting. I'm worried about the plate. Why? It's stainless steel. It's all good. No, I just, I, it'd be nice for it to have a handle. Yeah. So you can't make a fire at night? Well, know. you can have fires only in certain places though, so we can't bank on the fact that we can use a fire every night. Failure. So as you can see, this MSR Alpine plate is burning instantly, so that's not going to work too well. But I think if we, if we wrap the fish in foil and stick it on there, it should it looks be okay. Like it's sparking. We could always wrap the fish in foil and then put it next to the fire. Yeah, but the whole point is we Yeah, we're, we're going to try this. We're going to see what we're happens. We're going to try this. Maybe this burner is too hot. Do you see those sparks? Yeah, there's some sparks. This is this is just turning out to be an epic fail. <sighs> so, uh, all you 130 subscribers, tips appreciated on how to Please. do this. Please, with if we uh, you don't we have a, a fire, tip number 1, get a real frying pan. I mean, we have, I have a cast iron pan that would work, but it weighs a pound. We're gonna get like a camping one. Do they make a plate in whatever material? I mean, the frying pans are stainless steel, or, no, I guess they're not. Oh, I can see it like. Whatever you boil yeah, water spark, in. Do they make a plate in that? Put it on there. See what happens. It'll work. All right, so success. Man, I, lemon pepper is good. Pretty good. Look at that. And the uh, we're checking the damage. I mean, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The plate was somewhat charred, but we'll check the structural integrity. Hmm, it's good. It's really good. Next up is chicken. Not that we're gonna hunt chicken on Isle Royale, but. We want to try it with the white meat. I want to hunt a chicken. <laughs> they have chicken sticks? All right, next course is chicken in olive oil with uh, basil and sea salt on there in the same contraption. So the the fish was excellent. Yeah, the fish turned out really so good. It tasted delicious. We're thinking maybe just get an actual camping skillet instead of this plate. But the plate is holding up, and we will check the structural integrity of the plate after this, but I think the plate might survive. It's just horribly burned. So I don't know if that would work for a week in Isle Royale after cooking on it a bunch. I'm also concerned with the amount of canister gas we had to use to cook that one filet. But we'll check back in on the chicken. What do we got? Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo
All right, so I think the moral of the story is, I know, oh, hold on, let's, I mean, it's still alive. <laughs> Here, eat some of these little pieces, they're done. So the, the frying experiment was half success. It was like 75% success. The food turned out good, we just burned the crap out of that alpine plate. And Andy got pooped on by a bird, so. I guess it was more like 50% success. <laughs> Alright, so for dinner tonight, everyone had a different rendition of Easy Mac. Andy went overboard, and after the uh, the Dolly Sod's uh, Buffalo Chicken Easy Mac wrap, God, that does look good, though. <laughs> way too much. Man, that's like a pound of food. <laughs> I know. It looks good, though. Yeah, it's way too much. That's all right. And your regular Kroger brand Easy Mac was uninspiring. Yeah. Yeah, Go, it wasn't crab. that great. And well, how's your Easy Mac over there with the cheesy sausage in it? Easy Mac soup, but it's good. It's good. Mm. What was that? Sam Ma Squatch. The Mothman. <laughs> Indrid Cole. All right, so. As I'm explaining to them, most people don't backpack with chairs, and that's just as a foreign thought to us now. The question came up of what do you sit on? The I ground. Think you, I think, no, I think you just stand the whole time now. <laughs> Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> you, just, yeah, you just stand. You just stand the entire <laughs> night. Oh. I Like, I couldn't imagine not having chairs anymore. But that's not a common, it's not common. It hasn't caught on yet. Yeah. I can't imagine not having a chair. You'd be sitting up against that and that never, tree over there. I've never gone backpacking before, so I don't know what it's like to sit on a log. Or it's terrible. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for many it's years. Rather, absolutely terrible. I'd rather be sitting in this chair. <laughs> like you just find a, a tree to lean up against. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, this is a sound pad from the back from the bag. Yeah. And then you get dirt all over. Yeah, it's miserable. You want to experience backpacking? Nope. We can take away your chair. Yeah, we can just, yeah, just sit like on the ground. I've got the full experience. Yeah. Alright, so it's time to go to bed. The women are finding some area to pee after the fifth time. Uh, I guess we didn't regret bringing them as much as we thought we might have. They're surprisingly doing well, but it, it is, uh, it's best case backpacking conditions right now. <laughs> and like it's, it's in the low 60s, high 50s, like it's not windy, it's, it's nice, we have a nice fire. But we can't go anywhere else because they consider this hilly. They consider Vesuvius hilly, and that's like an average of like 100 feet of elevation per mile. <laughs> I guess we're gonna be backpacking here a lot. So uh, it's definitely I can't think of a flatter place in Ohio. Wild Kahala is pretty flat, but anyway, we're hitting the hitting the hay here. Pretty good night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Another good night's sleep in the hammock. Great night. It's in the mid fifties now, so perfect. Let's check in on the women. How was it? Cold. Really? Yeah. Did it move around on you? No, not really. Pretty hard to side sleep on it. But the Costco. You were snoring. You were snoring. Yeah, I know. I slept. <laughs> I'm not doing it tonight. I didn't sleep. Like, How did you sleep? I slept really well. First night in the hammock. Yeah, I just, I woke up at two in the morning and I had to go to the bathroom. I heard, I'm, I, I, I heard that. Yeah. Nice. Costco quilt can't handle this temperature. Yeah, it's a, it lifts a little bit on the cold side for the Costco quilt. <laughs> I'm, I'm cold too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder why. You're zipped into a 30 degree sleeping bag with a fully cinched up 20 degree under quilt and it's in the 50s. Yeah, and I have my coat on. I, have I don't And you have a down jacket on. <laughs> I don't know that I slept flat in the hammock, but it was still really comfortable.
we have forgotten how loud these freaking canister stoves are. Man, that is loud. Yeah, it's on high. It's freaking loud. Time for the annual coffee extravaganza. We have many different kinds. And you get some granola. And how are we going to cook these Jimmy Dean breakfast sausages? Oh, I could cook them. I could just stick them on a, on a stick and cook them over this flame. It's not a terrible idea. This works surprisingly well. How's the oatmeal? Pretty good. Mystery flavor, but I think it's raisin and something in original mixed in. Alright, so, thoughts. If you had to do this again, what would you do differently? Bring cream and sugar and salt. Salt's a good one. Um, oatmeal for breakfast. She hated the breakfast skillet. Maple, maple brown sugar oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> uh... For dinner, I like the Easy Mac. I think it just needed some salt. <laughs> How much salt do you eat? <laughs> I was say, those Macs probably have so much sodium. <laughs> man, man, when I eat Easy Mac, I'm like, man, this just needs more salt. <laughs> That's the first thing I think. Uh, what about clothing-wise? Do you think you packed, you think you did right on that end? Most people... Um, always change up what they bring clothing wise after the first time. I probably would have brought a jacket, but I didn't expect it to get this cold. Um, I felt like I was a little cold in the hammock, so I'm not sure what, um, why that happened with the down quilt underneath and the 20 degree blanket. It was probably in the mid to low 50s last night. Yeah, I wonder why. You had that. Uh, you had a. Tw you had. I had you a long that? sleeve, a puffy coat. I was fully in my sleeping bag. So my mom, before I left, she was like, "You should bring a jacket," and I was like, "No." I was like, "Stop being paranoid." Andy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, we survived. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> really pretty morning here. Over the lake. Just making our way on the lake front, lake shore trail. Back to the car. We're about a mile out, so perfect little morning. Wow. Vesuvius and as the women said the complaints were kept to a minimum so they had a good time. Uh, Allie's done this a couple times. First time for Andy's wife Alex so pretty successful. Um, Vesuvius is a good place to break someone in because there's good camping it's pretty scenic and it's pretty flat so thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.